Good morning, it is Crumble Monday. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I am filming my Crumble Monday for this week. I'm super excited, kind of, also low-key nervous. Smells good, I can just smell the peanut butter. So, I do have six cookies. My location, I don't know if your location does this, but my location does this. And it, um, like sometimes the previous week still has cookies that you can buy from like last week. So I do have a mint one to fill, cause that was my favorite from last week, to fill the sixth spot. Cause there's five cookies for this week. So, um, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I am comfortable, cozy, it is cold. I got my pup with me. She's so cute. Um. So yeah, let's just get started. I hope you guys are excited. If you wanna watch, I give my, like what I think it tastes like in the beginning while I'm eating it. And at the end, I rate them for you, like one through 10. Some weeks I have done it where I put it first through fifth, etc. Um, but yeah, enough rambling. I'm ready to try these cookies. I, apologize. I hope my camera doesn't do what it did last week, guys, because if you watched last week's video, my camera died. I was just chilling behind the car. My camera died and I have charged it like for a long time so it shouldn't have died. So I'm kind of hoping it doesn't do that today. So cross your fingers. We are going to start. Again, I need to get like some sort of table so that it like sits at least like this. Right? I don't know. Whatever. Let's try, oh gosh. We are going to try the peanut butter brittle. It's gonna be kinda hard to show you just because it's crumbly on top. It is served warm. A, per a perfect peanut, let me start that over. A perfect peanut, I don't know what's wrong with me. A perfect peanutty cookie smothered with a peanut brittle glaze and crunchy peanut brittle pieces. Okay. <laughs> smells good. It smells like those um, Girl Scout cookies, those peanut butter Girl Scout cookies. Let's try. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is very peanut buttery. But it's so good. Ooh. I'm gonna have a taste between those peanut butter Girl Scout cookies. I'll insert a picture. Don't remember the name. Um or those peanut butter drop cookies where you get the Hershey kiss on top. It's like a mix between those two cookies, kind of. It's good. This peanut butter brittle. It's good. I'm not a fan of the texture. A brittle, I kind of. Ooh, freaks me out a little bit. That's a good cookie. If you love peanut butter, uh, and you could eat it by spoonfuls, I would get that. I would get that cookie. I would have to be in the mood for peanut butter, which I am right now, so that is good. Um, I would get it again. I would get it again if I was like, ooh, I want peanut butter. Or even if I just wanted to get these cookies again, I would get it again. So we're gonna move on. That was a good start. Um, and it's like a crunch texture because there's actual, let me show you. There's actual like chunks of peanut butter, like uh, peanuts in it. It's gonna be hard to see, but I think you can kind of see one there. There's peanuts in it. Ooh, so you get the crunch from the peanuts, the crunch from the brittle. So good. Ooh, peanut brittle pieces on the next one. Now we have the sea salt toffee. This is served warm as well. A delicious infusion of toffee and milk chocolate chips topped with a dash of sea salt. Let's see where the toffee is. I might have to break this one to get some. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe. Mm. 
I didn't really get any toffee, so let's take another bite. <clears throat> okay. That's good. It kind of reminds me of a chocolate bar, but what chocolate bar? Toffee, like, I don't know if it's just me, but kind of reminds me of something caramelly in a way. Kind of reminding me of like a milky way, but toffee obviously is a little more like of a different consistency. Like it's a, I don't know how to explain it, but kind of reminds me of like a milky way. It doesn't taste like a milky way, but kind of reminds me of one. Um, it is good. Not getting much salt flavor, um, which I'm not going to complain because a lot, sometimes their cookies do have a lot of the salt on top of it. Very subtle salt flavor, unless yours is sprinkled with a lot. Um, but it just tastes like a upgraded chocolate chip cookie in a way. Um, like I said, kind of like a Milky Way kind of, if that makes sense, because it's not a Milky Way. <laughs> but good again, I would also get that one again. That is a good cookie. I feel like I don't really have many. Maybe it's just because I'm like a foodie. I love food. But I feel like I very rarely have a cookie that I'm like, nah. Um, but anyway, moving on. I think I'm going to try this one next. I have high hopes for this. Pecan pie is my favorite pie. So, don't fail me, Crumble. Don't fail me. This is the pecan pie. It's served warm. Just like the iconic pie. A buttery sugar cookie with sparkly brown sugar and freshly toasted pecan pie filling. Okay. That's actually good. I am impressed. I'm impressed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, my ratio is a little off. I feel like there's a lot more crust or slash cookie than there is, like, the topping. So, I would love to have had, like, a little more of the filling because I just love pecan pie. But flavor-wise, it tastes like a pecan pie. It tastes good. Um... Tastes like pecans. Pecans is a strong flavor. It's like a buttery pecan, kind of like toasted flavor. That's good. I am actually really happy about that because their apple pie one, wasn't a fan of. I really want them to change the crust of the apple pie one, not do like a buttery base. But this buttery base goes with the pecan pie and the pumpkin pie. So good. Good, good, good. Um, mm, it just tastes like a brown sugary goodness. Now moving on. Ooh, I just got on my nose. Where are you? Whoa. So far they're all served warm. So it, every single cookie served warm this week. This is the orange roll. It's served warm. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it, expecting it to be served cold. Um, a sweet orange. So it's called orange roll. I don't know if I said that. A sweet orange sugar cookie with smooth orange cream cheese frosting and a fresh orange on top. Are all of them really served warm? Every single one so far has been served warm. What? I feel like they've never done that. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mm-hmm. I'm curious what that would have tasted like chilled because it's like a fruit it's like fruity and refreshing but that is still so good I would 100% get it again that one this is tough this is tough that one is so good it tastes like sometimes the way I describe they're like lemon and orange and those type of cookies I always say kind of tastes like Starburst I kind of get like starburst flavor, but I, it's not a starburst if that makes sense. Like, 
because it's like a refreshing Starburst flavor. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, that's the way I describe the orange and lemon flavors. I love Starburst. Um, that's good. They nailed that cream cheese frosting. It's so refreshing. Literally tastes like orange and cream cheese, like perfect combo. Um, so if you don't like cream cheese, wouldn't get that. And if you don't like orange, I wouldn't get that. Because those are the two flavors, the cream cheese and the orange. But so good. Now I'm kind of nervous for this last cookie. Um, I have a feeling it's going to ooze everywhere. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like dark chocolate. Um, this is served warm as well. Molten lava. A, a sumptuous dark chocolate cookie using with hot fudge and sprinkled with powdered sugar. I'm just curious if I'm going to get to the... Oh! I doubt it, but we'll try. Nope. I don't want to open it. Oh no. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see all that? Oh gosh. Mmm. Okay. The only thing is, I'm not a big fan of chocolate in the first place. So dark chocolate, <clears throat> that's very, very like powerful and strong, dark chocolate. Um, but it's good. It literally like tastes like those like lava cakes. Um, in the center is the perfect like it's not like a thick fudge so it like just oozes nicely and it's like it's a perfect combination that's good it just tastes i don't even know how to describe that because i don't really eat lava cakes i don't really eat dark chocolate like that cookie by itself very plain very basic when you get that center that's what makes it that's what makes it that's good I probably wouldn't get it again because I'm like I said I'm not a big dark chocolate person but that is good this is tough I think I'm going to have to say I want to put my the orange roll in first pecan pie in second which I'm surprised the oh gosh this the peanut brittle in third sea salt toffee fourth molten lava fifth all very very good the orange roll I would give a 9 out of 10 pecan pie 8.8 .8 out of 10 um ah, 8.5 8.5 out of 10 for pecan pie peanut butter brittle 8.4 out of 10 sea salt toffee 8 out of 10 and then molten lava I would give an 8 out of 10 still, even though I put it like last. I'd still give it an 8 out of 10. It is a very good cookie. Just not my top pick. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy my camera has lasted. If you enjoyed, give this video a big thumbs up. This was a good week. I don't know what my hair is doing right here. Boop, dropping everything. I am excited to also eat my mint one as well. If you enjoyed, like I said, thumbs up this video. If you didn't, that's all right. Um comment down below what you think of this week's flavors and if you try them and also let me know if your location does that too where they like have last week's cookies sometimes they don't do it all the time but let me know i'm curious and subscribe for more videos subscribe for more crumble mondays i do have those videos that were suggested coming i was gonna announce it next week what i was gonna do with it but i guess i could kind of say it this week too um so what i was thinking of doing there were some comments about having like Chick-fil-A, like their holiday shake, um, Wendy's, their Frosty. I saw something else too. There was a Dairy Queen came out with some. Those three videos I'm going to be filming after December 14th. Um, yeah, and I'll explain again in next week's video. So keep an eye out for those. Subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.